In this video lecture, I'll be teaching about numerical summaries and data visualization. To better understand the concepts of numerical summaries, I will talk about them briefly in this video as well. I have organized the lecture slides starting from the descriptive statistics first, and then we will learn about outliers. After that, the visualization of a data distribution will be discussed using stem and leaf diagrams, histograms, bar charts, and pie charts. Where necessary, I will talk about the skewness and shape of the distributions. At the latter part of this lecture, I'll be talking about how to visualize two variables and then move on to develop a correlation coefficient as a prime start to regression analysis. Let's start with the easiest numerical summary of them all, the sample mean. It is the average value of all observations in the dataset. To get this, you need to sum all the observations from x1, x2, all the way to xn, and divide by the total number n. The notation for the sample mean is x bar. The sample median is the value of the middle of the ordered data points. You can arrange the dataset in the ascending order and then find this value as the n plus 1 divided by 2 number in the dataset. If n is an odd number, you would find that the dataset becomes perfectly divided into two equal numbered sets from the median point. If the dataset contains even number of elements, then the median is the average of two adjacent values that correspond to the median number found using n plus 1 divided by 2 in the ordered dataset. We call the most frequent value, or in the case of group data, the midpoint of the most frequent class, the sample mode. This example shows values obtained in 40 rolls of a die. You have 6 values with their respective frequencies. To get the total number of values, you can multiply the frequency and sum them up together. The sum is 132. Average is 132 divided by the 40 number is equal to 3.30. The sample median is 3, sample mean is 3.05, and sample mode is 1. 